This video I'm going to show you the Lamotte Tracer Pocket Tester for Total Chlorine, ORP, and pH. So basically this tracer has replaceable tips. This one here has a chlorine module on here. You have a pH module. And you also have the ORP module. Changing the module on the tracer is very easy. You just take this part and you twist it. Then you simply pull the module off. And then you just simply line up the module with the pins. Slide it on. And just simply tighten this to get the module back on. Now I'm going to show you how to get the total chlorine with the chlorine module on the tracer. You're going to need these tablets. In order to get the total chlorine reading, you're going to go ahead and use these chlorine test tabs. Sample water is at the 20 ml mark. You're going to carefully take one of these tablets without touching it, drop it into the sample water. You take the tablet crusher and go ahead and crush the tablet. You want to go ahead and put the cap onto the sample and shake it for about 20 seconds. And now you want to turn on the tracer. Let it go to self calibration mode. And you want to immediately dip it into the sample. You want to stir the sample for about 10 seconds. The reading has stabilized at 3.23. I'm going to verify the results with the Color Q Pro 7. So the free chlorine is coming in at 3.47. Total chlorine also is coming in at that. You see the results are pretty close. I got 3.23 parts per million and I got 3.47 with the color cube. For the pH module, you may want to invest in a pH buffer solution kit. So with the pH buffer kit, you can do a three-point calibration of pH 10, pH 7, and pH 4. You also want to store the sensor in the pH 4 solution. Okay, before we get the pH in the pool, we're going to go ahead and calibrate the module. I'm going to go ahead and use a pH 7 tablet. Carefully drop it in there without touching it. I'm going to fill the sample to the 20 ml mark with either distilled water or deionized water. I'm going to go ahead and use some distilled water. And now you want to take the tablet crusher and go ahead and crush the tablet up. And now you want to stir it up so the tablet is completely disintegrated. Go ahead and turn the unit on. You want to drop the tip of it into the sample. Okay, now you're going to hold this button here in the middle, the CAL button. You'll see CAL displayed on the screen. It should say 7.0. You'll see the word N displayed. The unit is now calibrated. The unit is calibrated. Go ahead and get a water sample. And then you want to turn the tracer on. Go ahead and dip it into the pool sample water. Once it stops flashing, that'll be the pH of the pool. So the pH here is 7.0. I'm going to go ahead and verify the sample with the color Q Pro 7. I'm going to go ahead and use the same water sample that I used for the tracer pH. The pH is coming in at 7.1, which is really close to the tracer pocket tester pH of 7.2. So for storage purposes, you want to go ahead and store the pH module in the pH 4 solution. Okay, taking the ORP level in the pool is very simple. You just put the ORP module on the tracer. And it will just power on the tracer. But it goes with the self-calibration. And you want to drop it into the sample. You want to leave the tracer in a water sample from 1 to 3 minutes until the ORP reading stabilizes. After about 2 minutes, the ORP has stabilized at 593 millivolts at this pool. Once you've completed the ORP testing, go ahead and turn the unit off with the off button. Go ahead and fill the cap with some tap water and replace it onto the ORP sensor. You to make sure you store the ORP with regular tap water, not distilled or deionized water. So if you service commercial pools, it's a great way to get a verifiable check of your total chlorine and pH. That's a quick look at the Tracer Pocket Tester by Lamont. It does total chlorine, it does your ORP, and it does the pH.